the time of recording, there's a typhoon on its way. So I decided to go on an adventure. So I went downstairs, put on my shoes, and I got myself ready. Let's go. Pause. Oh, it's raining already. Nah, it's not really. Let's go. So I walked that road, went to a bus station. On my way, I bought one of these things. Let's go. Apparently, there's a typhoon on its way, so I wanted to get this done quickly. in Taipei, it was time to get off the bus and look for a U-bike. I was looking for one of those electric U-bikes. Leaving Taipei 101 behind, I decided to look for an electric U-bike. I wanted to see if it was possible to get to Pingling District on an electric U-bike. So this is an electric U-bike. It's got about 83% battery left. It's about 20 miles to get there. Let's see if we can get there. Let's go. 82. It's going down. Yeah, I kept checking the battery. I wanted to know how fast it was going down. Ru Guo Shan Ting Guo Shou Zhong Wan, Qing Xia Fang, Liu Yuan, Gao Su Guo, Bo Zhe, An Zan Shu Da, Yi Qian. 我会重新拍片说中文感谢你们 It was warm, so it was time to get a drink Time to get back on the road. Again, I was checking the battery. I've always loved the U-bike, and now they've introduced more electric U-bikes to Taipei, it's better to explore. It started to get windy, so I carried on. 16, Ping Ling, 16. This was so much nicer on the electric U-bike. It made it so much easier to climb all these hills. It was getting windy. The battery was lasting ages, even though I was going to pull these great big hills. The electric U-bike had no problems getting me up here. The weather was warm, but windy. It was right nice. I got off the bike, had a walk around, looked at the view, and went back to the bike 
and continued on. I stopped to take a video of myself, because why not? And then I continued going down. I had about 44% left and I parked up the U-bike. The ride was finished. to Pingling. Um, the U-bike is more than capable of getting you here. I reckon Pingling's probably the most remote place on the U-bike network um, in Taipei anyway. So it's probably the most remote place you can get to on a U-bike. So yeah, U-bike. After that, I went for a walk on the river and waited for my bus to go home. Right then, thanks for watching. <laughs>